first take one more case of group data or frequency distribution and let us calculate mean variance and standard deviation. Now, first of all, to calculate mean, let us take mid values or midpoints x. The first class width is 45 to 49. What should be the midpoint? It should be 45 plus 49, that is 94 divided by 2, it is 47. Now, 50 to 54. Midpoint should be 52. Then 57, 62, 67, 72, and 77. To calculate mean, we need F into X. 47 multiplied by 10, 470. 52 multiplied by 40. 52 multiplied by 40, 2080, yes. 57 multiplied by 150. 8550. Yes, 8550. You can multiply first 100 with 57, 5700 and then 50 with 57. That means 2850. Now 5700 plus 2850 comes to 8550. Now 62 into 175. 10,850. 67 into 75. 5,025. 72 into 15. 1,080. Yes, 1,080. And 77 into 10. 770. Now we need the sum of fx. Sigma fx. Multiplied by 5025. 
72 multiplied by 1080. 77 hundred thousand, say 760. Yes. And 77 multiplied by 770. 59,290. Pardon? Plus 59,290. 59,290. Now the sum of this value. Sigma fx square. What is it? Take care. Amounts are quite high. Very high. Yes, verification is also necessary. One wrong amount. Thank you. Go on. 17,64,025. Yes. Okay, now we can calculate the variance through another formula and the formula is sigma fx square minus sigma fx the whole square divided by n that means sigma f upon we are taking n because this is the case of very large sample so it is now immaterial to subtract 1 from n or not. Our other senior statisticians suggest subtracting 1 from n when it is the case of small samples. But this one is the case of very large samples. So we are not going to subtract 1 from n. Now the value. Minus 28825 the whole square divided by 475 and all divided by 475. First simplify just this fraction. One or two more steps will be in our favor. Twenty-eight thousand eight hundred twenty-five the whole square divided by four hundred seventy-five. Then subtract it from the bigger amount and then divide the difference by 475. That will be the variance. Take your own time. If you need, verify the figures and then only write them. Thirty-one point one six three five. Thirty-one point one six three five. 3, 5. Now, can you give me this amount? This one. The result of twenty-eight thousand eight hundred twenty-five. The whole square divided by four hundred seventy-five. Seventeen lakh forty-nine thousand two hundred twenty-two. Seventeen forty-nine two hundred twenty-two. Two. Point thirty-six. Point three six. Okay. The result is with us. Variance is approximately thirty one. We can say that. So this was variance. That is calculation number two. And now the last standard deviation. S B. That is nothing but positive square root of variance. That means positive square root of 31.1635. So the standard deviation of this particular data is 5.5824. 5 5 yes, this is the standard deviation. Got it? Thank you.